shop is now and we'll see now. Hey everyone, in this week's Torah portion, the Torah begins by saying, Ve'ele toldot Yitzchak ben Avraham, Avraham holid et Yitzchak, which means, these are the children of Isaac, son of Abraham, Abraham fathered Isaac. Wait a second, isn't that a little bit repetitive? Abraham fathered Yitzchak, Yitzchak, son of Abraham? No. Ima, I remember your cooking used to be on a high point, not yeah, today. Yeah. If you had a high point, it wouldn't be your cooking. I remember when Ima used to make good food like 15 years ago. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have been that obvious. Ah, uh, she's very sensitive. It's okay. Yeah, good night. Mm. Bye. All right, guys, here comes the answer. Did you know that Avraham and Yitzchak actually looked nothing alike? They looked so different that the haters started spreading rumors that Yitzchak wasn't actually the son of Abraham. Hello, I'm Dr. Ramesh. Can I see a parental guardian? What, what? He doesn't look like my son? What, he doesn't have my face? So because of all these rumors going around that Yitzchak wasn't actually the son of Avram, Hashem made a miracle and made Yitzchak look exactly like Avram. And that is precisely why the Torah is repetitive. Because the second time that it says, Abraham fathered Isaac is teaching us that God made this exact miracle. Question is, why mention this story now? This story happened a lot earlier, and now Isaac's already older, and he's about to start his own family. Yeah, Mom, how are you? I, I've, I've got something to tell you. you know, please pass me the rice, Mom. You know on Passover, when, when, when we tell you that Elijah drinks from the cup, we actually just pour the wine pack in. I know it's, it's hard <laughs> to take. You're lying to me. <laughs> Dad, did you know about this? So to explain this, we have to look a little bit deeper. Avram and Yitzhak not only did not look alike, they also had very different personalities. Avram was much more of a social person. He was much more into working with other people. And Yitzhak, on the other hand, was much more reserved. He liked doing self-work. Think about it like this. A lot of times we experience something very outgoing, very inspiring, and at that moment, we feel ultra-inspired. is waking up the next day and implementing it in your own life. Of course, you were inspired the day before, but when it comes down to grind time, can you do it? That's it, I'm doing this. That is precisely why the Torah waits till now. Because only now, when Isaac is old and developed, do we see how Abraham and Isaac have separate personalities. And the Torah is coming to teach us that although they may have had separate personalities, they are both working for the same goal. And the goal is that even after the inspiration and after the excitement, we still have enough self-control to internalize what we learn. <laughs>